The students bluntly told lawmakers they have a right to be safe online and demanded control over what happens to their personal information. Students walking the hallways with purpose, meeting face to face with lawmakers, demanding they pass legislation to protect their privacy online. Young people are here today, we're taking our power back and we're saying that we are refusing to allow these tech companies to harvest our data in these ways. So I think that it's our time to stand up and say, we use this, this is harming us. The legislation makes it clear how young users can control their feeds to tailor their experience to the information they want to view. It requires tech companies to design kid-friendly products. It restricts data collection and profiling children. The measure switches off geolocation and prohibits the use of nudge techniques that encourage youth to weaken their privacy protections. This isn't about attacking or being punitive. It's about how do we create an online space that is safe for our young people in a way that furthers the really positive benefits of the Internet. The student lobbying effort focused on the Senate because that's where online safety bills are stalled. We don't want to set into motion unintended consequences, and so we're trying to fill, figure out how to balance the important needs of protecting our children when they're online without uh, exposing them further. The students told lawmakers they're being taken advantage of by checking off complicated term agreements. They complained about inappropriate material invading their social media feeds. I started becoming interested in this sort of situation because I think mental health is very important and a lot of people don't see it as important. This is new territory. Maryland would be the second state of the nation to put child internet safety laws on the books. Senate leaders believe the bills can be improved before the end of the session. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.